What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger, and we are jumping back into some road to the show here today. It's a three-game set with the Milwaukee Brewers coming to town. So let's see what we can do here. Hopefully take two out of three. That would make me a happy camper. And here we go. Bottom of the second. Milwaukee leading one to nothing. Nobody out, nobody on. I'm standing in for the first time against Aaron Ashby. He throws a 97-mile-an-hour sinker, 90 on a circle change, and 98 on his four-seamer. First pitch from the left-hander here. And a slider sent to the cheap seats in right field. No doubt about that one, baby. That's the way you start off the series, I suppose. Tie game now in the bottom of the second. We'll take it. All right, we come back. It's the top of the fourth. Milwaukee's back on top. Three to one the score currently. Runners on first and second and two away for Garrett Mitchell. He's 0 for 1 on the day and has a 253 batting average coming into this at bat. He's got a 1 1 count against Waskar Yanoa, who's on the mound for the Diamondbacks in this one. Pitch number 56 of his outing. That's a bunt down the third baseline. Quick roller, though. Not going to get him at first. Everybody's safe. And it is a bunt for a hit successfully as the bases are now loaded with two outs here in the top of the fourth. We come back bottom half of the inning. Still a 3-1 ball game, so we got out of the bases loaded jam with no more runs scoring. I'm standing in for the second time today. One for one with that solo tater in the second inning. First pitch of this at bat is a slider off the inside corner. One and oh the count after watching that one go by. We're still looking at Aaron Ashby on the mound for the Brewers. And second pitch of the at-bats, a 12-6 curve on the outside corner. And a lazy ground ball to second is going to be the second out here in the bottom of the fourth. And can't win them all, I suppose. We come back bottom of the sixth. It's now a 4-1 to -one lead for the Brewers. One out and a runner on first for me as I'm standing in one for two on the day. Aaron Ashby only throwing pitch number 61 of his outing so far. And it's just below the knees on the outside corner, taken for a ball. One and oh, the count. I now have three career home runs against the Brewers. I'd just like to get another base hit here. That's all I want. Second pitch of the at-bat. Hot shot to third. Oh, man. Hot corner. Look alive over there. 106 off the bat, and he made it look easy. That's a sharp line drive out to third. Man. We come back top of the eighth. Still a 4-1 ball game. Nobody out, nobody on. Sal Fralick at the dish for the Brewers. He's one for three on the day and has a 258 batting average on the season. 0 oh and 2 is the count for him here against reliever Trevor Steven. Wind up and the pitch from him. Ground ball to me at third. We'll pick that up. Throw to first will be in plenty of time. And that is out number one here in the top of the eighth. We're going to move on to the bottom half of the inning where I'm standing in for the fourth time today. 278 the batting average now for me. Two outs, nobody on. Joel Piamps on the mound out of the bullpen for the brew crew. He does hit 97 on his four seamer, a sinker at 96, circle change at 90, slider at only 84. First pitch of the at bat. There's a four seamer in the top of the zone on the inner third, got a piece of that and fouled it away. Count is now 0 and 1. Second pitch from him. Oh, way out in front of that slider on the outside corner. Game check swung me, and rightfully so, because I was way too far out in front of that. 0 oh, and 2 the count now. And a whiff on a slider off the plate away, and that was just a horrific at-bat for me there in that one. So that's the first strikeout for me in this series, but you, know, you do what you can. It didn't do much in that at-bat. Milwaukee's going to take the win here in game number one. Four to one, the final score. I went one for four, so I guess that's a perk. I got a, at least got us on the board. We're going to move on to game number two, though, and you know what that means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't done so already or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. We come into this one. It is the bottom of the first. Five-nothing lead for Milwaukee already. Runner on second, two away as I'm standing in batting cleanup with a 277 batting average. Michael Lorenzen on the mound does have a 97 mile an hour four seamer. He also hits 96 on the sinker. And uh, that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch from him. Four seamer just above the knees on the outer third. Got a piece of that and fouled it away. Count is now 0 and 1. Second pitch from him. 
Below the knees, in the dirt. Almost got away from uh, Contreras there. No advance from the runner at second, though. So the count is one and one for me. Still that runner on second base. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Inside with a four-seamer. Two and one the count. Come on, big fella. Give me something to swing at here. There it was. Four-seamer top of the zone. Got a piece. Fouled it away. Two and two the count. After not keeping that one between the lines. Next pitch from Lorenzen. Drilled in the left field corner. That's going to get down for a double. Runner is going to score from second. The throw into second is way offline. And uh, yeah, it's now a 5-1 ball game in the bottom of the first. We'll take the RBI double anytime we can get our hands on one of those. When we come back top of the second, still a 5-1 game. Zach Gallon on the mound for the Diamondbacks. He's already thrown 38 pitches here. And he's got nobody out in the top of the second. Bryce Terang is the man at the plate for the Brewers now. He's uh, got a 1-2 count after going 0-1 for 1 so far today. Ground ball to me at third. We're going to throw across the diamond. Easy play. One away here in the top of the second. And it has now taken Zach Gallon, what, 36 pitches, is it, to get four outs? Oh, we come back still top of the second. 5-1 ball game. Runner on first. One away. Zach Gallon throwing pitch number 44 of his outing to Christian Yelich, who's got a 2-2 count here. Uh, Yelich is one for one on the day so far. And we're looking for that double play ball here. Gallon kicks and deals. Ground ball to me. This is it. Five, four, and three. We go around the horn for a twin killing here to end the top of the second. Zach Gallon is happy to see that one because, man, he's been getting roughed up so far. All right, bottom of the third, still a 5-1 ball game. Runners on the corners, two outs. And I'm standing in one for one on the day. 279 the batting average for me now. I'm going to get a dynamic challenge because of that runner in scoring position and multiple runners on. And uh, we're going to go with only swing at pitches inside the zone and drive in a run. Michael Lorenzen still towing the rubber for the Brewers and the first pitch of the at-bat from him. Called strike off the outside corner. 0-1 oh, the count. That's a rough one from the home plate umpire. Next pitch is below the knees on the inside corner with a slider. That evens up the count at 1-1. One one. Pitch number three of the at-bat. Off the outside corner again with the four-seamer. 2-1 and one the count now. All I need is one over the plate and above the knees here, bud. Oh, that was over the plate and above the knees, but it was also above the zone. I still swung at it and fouled it away. Two and two the count after uh, not making great contact there. Ooh, almost got me to strike out on a slider down the middle, but above the knees. And it goes foul down the third baseline, so we have a 2-2 two -two count still. And swing and a miss to the four-seamer on the inside corner is a strikeout for me. That's my second one of the series so far. Not great. We're going to move on. After three innings, we are still trailing the Brewers by a score of 5-1. to one. We come back, bottom of the sixth. It's a 6-1 to one score now. Runner on first, one away. I'm standing in for the third time today against Michael Lorenzen. And I swing at the first pitch above the zone there. Oh, and won the count. That was not going to be a circle change like I thought it was going to be. The 0-1 pitch from him. Is the four-seamer on the outer third. Got a good cut on that one, but it's fouled off. And the count is now 0-2 in a hurry here. The two-strike pitch from Lorenzen. Up above the zone on the inner third. 1-2 and two the count after not offering it that one. Pitch number four. Off the inside corner with the four-seamer. 2-2 two and two the count. I'd keep the bat on my shoulders, it'd be three and one, but no sir. Ground ball to second, it's going to be a double play. Four, six, three is how you're going to score that one if you're keeping track at home. And that's all she wrote for that inning is that double play retires the side. We're going to move on here, top of the seventh, six to one the score. Milwaukee in the lead, runners on first and second, only one out. Alex Call at the plate for the Brewers. He's hitting a lowly 179 on the season. Dane Dunning is now on the mound out of the bullpen for the Diamondbacks. He's throwing an 0-1 pitch to Dunning, or to Call. Bunted down the third baseline. We're going to get the easy out at first. That's two away now in the top of the seventh. 
and the runners are now standing on second and third. We move on top of the eighth. Still a 6-1 ball game. And Bryce Terang at the plate for the fifth time today. Runner on first, two away, one and two the count for him against Dane Dunning. Wind up and the pitch. And it's a blooper into shallow left field. Shortstop's going to field that one in the outfield grass. I still don't understand why the game brings me in for those, but whatever. Moving on. It is now bottom of the eighth. Six to one the score. Runners on first and second. Two outs. And I'm standing in one for three on the day. Two for seven on the series so far. And we get another dynamic challenge. Um, we really need to just drive in a run here. A base hit will do the job. James Paxton is towing the rubber now out of the bullpen for Milwaukee. He hits 97 on his four-seamer. Cutter at only 88. Uh, 97 on the sinker. First pitch from him. Gets the call with the four-seamer on the inside corner just above the knees. We have an 0-1 count to start this at bat. And the next pitch is a ground ball to first. He's going to take that to the bag himself. Three unassisted is going to end the eighth inning. We're moving on to the ninth, still trailing by a score of 6-1. to one. Yeah, Milwaukee's going to take the win here. Not a surprise. 6-1 to one, the final score here in game number two. We're going to move on to game number three and see if we can avoid getting swept at home by the visiting Brewers. Come on, PlayStation loader in nice and pretty like. There we go go all right we're at the plate here bottom of the first two nothing lead for the brewers runner on first one away i'm batting third in the order freddy peralta on the mound for the brewers he hits 95 on the four seamer and that's all he's got that's quick first pitch is that four seamer just above the knees and almost right down the middle of the plate oh and one the count though as i can't keep that one between the lines the oh one pitch now from peralta off the outside corner with the four-seamer. One and one the count. The Brewers are actually fourth in the division. That's weird. One-one pitch. Ooh, out in front of a slider that was on the outer third, and that's pulled foul down the left field line. Count is one and two after that pitch. And a swing and a miss at a four-seamer on the inner third is going to strike me out to start game number three. Not the way we want that to go down. We come back bottom of the third, 4-0 ball game. Milwaukee in the lead. I'm standing in 0-for-1 on the day. Runner on first, one away. Freddy Peralta still on the mound. He's throwing pitch number 46 of his day so far. And a four-seamer on the inside corner is fouled away. 0-1 the count. Second pitch now. Swing and a miss at a four-seamer on the outer third. My gosh, I cannot make contact for anything here, even though it shows my contact is 88. And a swing and a miss at a four-seamer on the inner third. You've got to be kidding me. There's no way I should be not making contact with those pitches. My swing timing wasn't that terrible. We come back top of the sixth. Still a 4 nothing ball game. Runner on first. Nobody out for Jefferson Cuero. He's one for two on the day. And a ground ball to me. We're going to go double play on this one. Five, four, and three. That'll empty the bases and put two outs on the board. I'm sure uh, our pitcher would love seeing that one. Dane Dunning still, well, he's out there on the mound again early in the game. Bottom half of the inning, though, as we move on, I'm at the plate. 0 for 2 on the day with a pair of Ks next to my name. Nobody out, nobody on. Freddie Peralta still on the mound. I get another dynamic challenge, this time because the bases are empty. And uh, we're going to try to record a hit after taking the first pitch. Not like we really need the equipment packs, but, you know, it is what it is. First pitch taking all the way, and it's a four-seamer almost right in the middle of the zone. Oh, and won the count after not offering it that one. Second pitch. Ooh, way out in front of a curveball. And that's an 0-2 count after pulling a foul down the third baseline. The two-strike pitch in the dirt with a four-seamer. One and two, the count. Pitch number four. Good rip on a curveball, just a little bit late on it, so it's fouled off. One and two, the count. Still, after fouling that one away. The next pitch. Rip down the line in right field. Is that going to get down for a hit? It is not. Right fielder makes the play over near the corner. And uh, that's all she wrote for that at-bat. At least it's not a strikeout, I suppose. 
Bottom half of the eighth, it's now a four to one ball game. Arizona is not gonna get shut out this time around. One out, nobody on for me as I'm standing in for the fourth time today. Still rocking the offer. Joel Pyamps is out of the bullpen to try to close this one out or get us closer to closing it out. And uh, he still hits 97 on the four seamer, 90 on the circle change, 96 on the sinker, and 84 on his slider. First pitch from him. There's a four seamer in the zone, got a piece, fouled it away. Good swing timing, but not good contact. This is my last chance to extend my hit streak into 10 games. As you saw there, I'm only at nine so far. And a check swing on a slider at the knees. It was in the zone, but the game check swung me. So we have an 0 and 2 count in a hurry yet again. Next pitch is a four seamer off the inside corner. So I have a 1 and 2 count in front of 26,697. And a swing and a miss at a slider off the plate away and low is going to complete the hat trick for me. And yeah, this is quickly becoming a game to forget at the plate. My goodness. Not a great time there as we get swept by the Brewers. Final score in game number three, four to one. And yeah, not the greatest series on the planet. You know, wasn't horrible to start, but uh, you know, I didn't do good in game number three, not by a long shot. So that's going to be the end of this series. Also going to be the end of this episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. We will see you in the next one.